What up YouTube, Mr. Mac here. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for another hashtag FM Friday. And we are here. It is the last episode for the first season and we have got two massive games in store. We will be taking on Lincoln Red Imps for the first half of the episode and then going to play College Europa, the final two games of the season. We came in uh, last time we had these three games here, Mons, Cowpay, St. Joseph's and then College Europa. And then in between episodes, we took on Boca Juniors, Gibraltar and got a 2-0 win away from home. So this is the state of play in the second half of the season here. We are dominating. We're five points clear. So one point uh, from either of our last two games should be enough to secure us the top of group one, but this is what is really exciting me. With two games to go, we are um, sitting top of the whole National League. We're one point clear. Of course, we're playing second and we're playing third in the last two games. So we're really going to need a lot of luck or a lot of skill, maybe, to get across the line here. But if we do it... Oh boy, if we can do it, it's going to be amazing. Now, we've got uh, Gonzalez out with an injury there, but we can bring in Gonzalez here, and we can bring Salas back in. We can bring him back in for Torres in the center of defense and switch him back to stopper. We're going to push Torres up here for SDBN. And we're going to continue with this lineup here as we go forwards. Of course, Alison Rasquina are going to be taking uh, only a couple more games with us now. We're starting to develop a, uh, a fairly decent partnership there. And Salas and Power also developing a partnership at the back, which is fantastic news for us as a team. Now, we're not going to have any further time messing around. We are going to get straight into this um, probably the biggest match of the season for us. So let's let's get a little bit passionate here uh, for the boys. We've got nothing to lose. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone what we're capable of. And I have faith in every single one of you to get out there and make a difference. You're happy with Brad Power's performances. He has been amazing uh, right now. I think he's been amazing anyway. His form's dropped off a little bit. <laughs> this guy's boring. <laughs> oh, Chucky appears to be handed a role. I certainly trust him. He's versatile, versatile enough to handle it. All right. So, we are underway here. We're cautious. We are, look, hoping for some better luck than what we had last time we took on one of these top two teams. Uh, our match against College Europa certainly didn't go according to plan. And this one here against Lynx, uh, sorry, against Lincoln Radiums has not started overly well, uh, with no shots at all for us in the first half an hour. However, there is an opportunity here. Soler with a pass only as far as Chucky takes it back to Salas. Salas plays to Power inside. Power chips it forwards to Valdivia who plays it backwards again to Salas. Now we look up the left wing. No, we play it all the way back to Banda or Banda. And Banda lobs it long, but we turn the ball over. Torilla plays it up and they get a header on it. Gato has got it. El Gato tips it out and that is wired from uh, the... Lincoln Redim's attacker there. Now we've had a shot blocked, which is great. Um, we've got a shot at least. Now, let's see what we can do here. Cipollina bringing the ball up their left wing. And Muhammad takes it on his head and goes for it. The long range effort not really troubling the keeper. Still yet to get a shot on target in the first half. So I am gonna tell the boys I'm not going to tell them to do it for our fans. I'm just going to say, guys, look, we can do better than that. We haven't got a shot on target yet in 45 minutes of action. Um, I want to see more from you in the second half. So they've been, they're fired up now. Uh, Bunda with the goal kick here. 
terrible goal kick, really. Gato gets it, plays it to Hernandez. And Hernandez loses the ball now to Gonzalez. And we could be we could be on the break here. To Valdivia in the box. He's disallowed because he was offside. Yep. He was... Uh, Gonzalez was late with that pass. He's definitely about a step ahead of the defense there. Oh, it was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. That was the moment. All right, we're going to keep going here, though. Uh, an hour in now. Let's uh, just... We might make some plays here, I think. What we're going to do is we're going to take Vinay out for Hernandez, swap the wingers over, and then I think we're going to bring... Uh, we're going to put victory in for Gonzalez. And that's going to do us for now. Uh, we're going to see if we can get a little bit more from these boys. And a good take there from Banda to uh, deny Lincoln Redims from the set piece there. And we break again from the goal kick. Pinpoint pass there from Banda to Alison Rusquina. Out to Parity now on the left wing. Something a little bit different from him. Ooh, and that is very, very poor from Brad Power. And very poor from Salas as well. Some absolutely shocking defense there. And we have certainly been bailed out by our goalkeeper. Parody to Hernandez. Back to Parody in the box. Valdivia scores! Oh my goodness. The crowd is going absolutely wild here. We have pulled in front. We are 1-0 up now with 23 minutes to go. And this could make our season, folks. This could be... The moment that we need. Cipollina's header not cleared. Only as far as Parody, who plays it to Valdivia. And he hits it on the volley for his 21st goal of the season. And now 20 minutes to play. Avellano. Parody, The master of sister. Uh, getting the ball. Getting a touch on it. And it's back to Parody again. What magic can he work now? Plays it to Tyrone. Avalano. Long range shot. And Avalano has scored his first goal of the season. And we are two goals to the good now. Jaden Parody. Every single thing he touches turns to absolute gold. And this is going better than anyone could ever have expected here. That is a 30 meter shot there from Avalano. That is huge. That is huge. Okay, we're two goals up now. We've gone very defensive, demanding more from the boys. And it is 10 minutes left now. The, the, the clock is ticking away. They do have a corner here, but we can deal with it. Valdivia's got it, and he's going to go here. He's going to go. Alison Rasquina is open on the opposite side of the field. But we play. We tried to play back to Parrot. This is not good. That is not good at all. What a save by Bradley Bunder. Turning it around the post. Everything that we need right there. Um, we've tried to clear only as far as Cipollina to Iverson. And Iverson's shot flashes past the upright. And we are still two goals to the good with just two minutes remaining. Let's tighten up from here, boys. Injury time now. And only 10 seconds on the clock. Surely there's not going to be anything that comes out of this highlight. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. What a save. Bradley Bunder looking after his clean sheet there. And again denies the Lincoln Red Imps. And Bradley Bunder, take the player of the game, my friend. What an amazing performance in goal there. Just run the clock out. It's full time. Lynx FC 2, Lincoln Red Imps 0. And oh my goodness. I... Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined this. We definitely FM'd them. Eight shots to 27. Three shots on target for two goals. No clear-cut chances. 46% possession. Just amazing. We have played out of our skins here. Tyrone Avellano gets the player of the match award after his second goal, which was an absolute blinder. Boys, that is... Really special. That is really special. And you deserve to be delighted as a result of that. And now that just shakes it up. 
Unbelievably so. We are four points clear if College Europa lose here. If College Europa lose before they get to play us, we have the league locked away. Crespo, we didn't begin to play as well as we're capable of. It was disappointing in every department. I would agree with that. We have confirmed our best ever finish. We still have an opportunity to grab the title, but we cannot go lower than second now. If we can win the title in our first season and go to the Champions League, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm glad you think you can do better, but I was happy. Sorry, mate. I'm, I'm just pumped up on the amazing victory that we've had. You've got to be happy with that win. Yes, we played... Uh, lovely stuff. It was a joy to behold. Despite being less than convincing, we've come away with the result. Look, we defended well. Mm. We did defend well. We got there. How much of an impact do you think the officials had? I don't think the officiating had any impact. Okay, it was 23 metres. It wasn't uh, <laughs> wasn't 30 metres, but it was a fabulous strike from Tyron Avellano. And he has come through the academy and we are starting to put more emphasis on our youth development. I think that's really important. So, um, yeah, how hard he's going to be willing to work. As a disallowed goal, I think the ref's decision was the right one. It was clearly offside. We don't have anything to worry about there. Um, who do we think is going to win the best player in Europe? Well, Ronaldo's played 50 games. He's a legendary striker, and he's scored 38 goals. Um, and Juventus are in the Champions League final, so... I'll just say Ronaldo. Why not? Everyone is happy with these comments. Yes, Lynx FC have a goal disallowed. I think it was fair. That was the offside goal. Salas, you've got to do better in training, mate. Come on. That's that's not acceptable. All right, we're going to roll on here. We're going to see uh, what College Europa do in the meantime. In fact, do they have a game in the meantime or do they play us next? No, they well, no, they play Mons Kaupe today. Mons Kaupe got the upset against Lincoln Redimps just just before um, in the last episode. So we might actually we might actually know here. We might be safe here. This is the game to watch. I don't really want to attend it though. It's not not worth that much to us. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Mons Kaupe! What are you doing? How is this happening? Hang on. Mons Kaupe have been playing out of their skin in the last few games here. And they have... Okay, so if we lose, we come second. But if we win or if we draw against College Europa, we have the title in our hands. Um, this is amazing. This is mind-blowing. All right, because they have three goals advantage on us in goal difference. That is, that is just a disappointment. We haven't quite locked the title away yet. But what a better way to finish the season? This is essentially a, a, a cup final now. And look, I think we should have beaten them last time, really. We scored two against them, and we went down... To, uh, to nine men and it took them extra time to get past us and even then it was only very lucky in extra time alright here we go yes look the standard of coaching probably could be improved for our team but we can't really afford that right now so oh my goodness I'm actually buzzing right now actually buzzing let's kick on here the 15th of May All right. Uh, I just, I just ready to get this game underway. These guys have played their last games of the season. Manchester sixty two, FC have stitched up the uh, or, or sewn up rather the second uh, second group in the league. I think they call it the challenger group in real life, uh, as opposed to the championship group. I don't think I'm going to do too much in terms of team selection. I'm not going to change it too much. We've sold about 1,300 tickets, which is fantastic. It is going to be a difficult challenge for us. But we're at home again. 
uh, and we're going for a record points haul here. If we get the win, we'll get the record points haul. We'll get our best ever finish. We'll get Champions League football. Last time out against Lincoln Red Imps, we have to keep working hard for that. How much of a difference does Gustav Morgensen make? My, seven goals in 11 appearances with five off the bench. He gives them something no one else can offer. Will Sean Gonzalez be available? We'll have to wait and see, really. Uh, your team looks well on course to realise the long-term objectives. You must be confident of seeing it through. This is no time to get complacent, boys and girls. Uh, oh, Gustav Morgensen is pretty happy with what we've got to say there. I wonder, let's, uh, let's do a bit of scouting on him, hey? Scouting pool until full knowledge. And we might see, maybe, he's Danish. Okay, mm, 450k. But... His contract runs out. Oh, he's on loan. He's on loan, of course. We might keep an eye on him and we'll see if we can pick him up as a loan signing, potentially, since he's since he's so impressed with us. Um, that might be really handy as we move forwards. I'm just going to wait for this uh, the big game save here to come through. There we go. All right. This is it. Someone cue the final countdown or something. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. We definitely need to go cautious, I think. Gonzalez has completed the rehab phase. He's passed the fitness test. 60 minutes of action. 6.72 average rating. Do we throw him in there? I think we have to. I think we have to put him in there. I mean, we can obviously do a little comparison here, compare with Sean Gonzalez, and we can see that Gonzalez is better mental, defending, physical, speed. Chucky is better on the attacking side, which is clearly why he's better pushed up the field a little bit more. Um, so I think we go with this. We go... Gonzalez can come in and we'll get at least 60 minutes out of him as a fullback uh, playing on defend. We can put Chucky into here for Balti. And then I think, I think everyone else is just, we're in, we're locked in. Um, are we out here? Are we ready, are we ready for this? Strong form compared to decent form. Ah, tactics, hang on. Oh no, cautious, we're okay, we're okay. Team selection. This is it. It's fine, Sean Gonzalez is only going to play for 60 minutes. Final game of the season, under lights at Victoria Stadium in Gibraltar. This is, this is the moment, boys. I know... A lot of you are going to be keen to avenge what happened last time we played College Europa. So go out there, express yourselves, get it done. This could be the last time we see a bunch of guys in a Lynx FC shirt. Um, we're going to be doing some contract negotiation in the off-season, don't worry. Um, I couldn't speak more highly of these guys. We'll see how we go. College Europa are unbeaten in three matches. Can you end that run here and now? Well, every match is a new opportunity to write history. We're not concerned with what's already happened. Uh, the stats mean nothing in isolation. Fourth in the form table. They're a threat, but so are we. Here we go. Walking out. It's Lynx versus College Europa. And we've got the first chance here. Parity with a set piece. Power just misses after four minutes. We've had some good chances here in the early early doors. Uh, three shots on target. Let's go short passing play because it is raining. And we'll give them some feedback. We'll demand a bit more. Parity again sends a hanging ball in the box. Avalano has had his goal chalked off. For pushing another player. I have never seen that before in my history playing FM. 
I've never seen that before ever. Okay, so we're just gonna have to work a little bit harder. Um, here we go, Parody again sends a ball over the box. Avellano this time. Header goes just over the bar. All right, Coling. New, different goalkeeper again this time for College Europa. Huge ball out of defense. Salas picks it up and sends it to Parody. Parody plays inside to Gonzalez, who hits it with the outside of his foot to Valdivia. Valdivia scores his 22nd goal of the season, and we are 1-0 up in the 40th minute here. And that is exciting, because now we are on the front foot. We are in the lead here with just over one half to play. And this is Champions League football on the line here, folks. Um, Power sends a hanging ball over the top. Parity gets onto it here. Now, Parity has been absolutely magical in terms of assists. He's played to Alison Rasquina. Rasquina is going to play it back to his brother, the other Parity, who plays inside to Power, who lobs it over, and we turn the ball over. Uh, now, Scott going to come at us and sends it to Rosa, who steps around Parity. And he's inside, but saved by Bunda. The third effort even. Bang, bang, bang. And Bradley Bunda maintains the clean sheet there. And we go in to the break. A goal to the good. Oh my goodness. Boys. Boys, boys, boys. Let's get passionate. I'm so pleased with how things are going. Let's keep it up. This is like the team talk. Getting around everyone. They're going to be coming out. They're bashing on the walls. They are loving life, and they are so pumped for this second half here. 45 minutes of football. We're going to demand a bit more. We're going to close down Ethan Jolly. Um, 35 minutes to go now, and we've got another chance here on the edge of our box. Valdivia plays back to Salas. Salas over the top to Valdivia. Tries to flick it on, I think, but it gets headed clear. Ethan Jolly with the ball. Bad pass there. Alison Rasquina is onto it to Parody. Parody hits it against the upright. But he can follow up and get his own rebound and only gives it away. 30 minutes to go. We need to make a sub here. Gonzalez needs to come out. Chucky is going to go in uh, on the left, the left fullback position there. I'm pretty happy with everything else at the moment. I don't think I want to make too many changes uh, just in case. So we're going to just make that one change. We're going to demand more from the boys again. Refocus them. 20 minutes to go now. This is where they really came out to hurt us last time. We're going to drop to defensive with 20 minutes to go. Brad Power, you can ease off your tackles. 15 minutes now. It looks like they're trying to defend wider. We've got 10 minutes to go. Show some passion, boys. Here it is. Going very defensive for the last five minutes. They've got a chance. Okay. They're going to go more attacking. We've got in front of the first cross. We've uh, cleared it. Chucky cleared it. Vinay coming up the left wing. Only as far as Santana Vargas. And Gallardo. I thought he was offside there. Gallardo has scored to equalise. I really don't know what to do here. I feel like we stay defensive. There's only four minutes. Like, there's not that much time left. Oh, boy. I really dislike the fact that there's another highlight right now. Um, okay, boys, what are you doing? Just please do not concede here. Do not concede here. Uh-oh. Scott picks up the ball off of a header. Plays to Galato. Galato. Oh, my goodness. Put his boot through that one, and that would have ripped through the net. That was some power on that. We're into injury time now. Minute to go. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, we have done it. We just won the league. Um, do they even realise that? You, you've done well avoiding defeat. We just won the league. Lynx FC champions, season one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we win the National League title for I think the first time ever. Ever. And I feel like we got a little bit ripped off with that pivotal match there because the 3-0 win over St. Joseph's was not the most pivotal match. 3-2 against Lincoln Red Imps, 2-0 against Lincoln Red Imps. They are the pivotal matches this season. Amazingly, we are top and Alison Rasquina has played his last game for us. 
He is a, an agreed transfer. We lose him, but I think we've got the ability to um, do better. We've qualified for Group 1 of the National League. Yeah, that happened a long time ago. We won Group 1 of the National League. We've qualified for the 2020 Champions League, more importantly, after winning the National League. So our budgets, wage budget is 6000 a week and a transfer budget of nothing, which is fine. And we go straight to the top of the Hall of Fame, apparently. Um, that seems a little bit unbelievable, but there you go. We won the domestic division. We get 15 points for that. Um, better than the College Europa managers. Better than anyone anything anyone's ever done for Lincoln Radiums, apparently, um, for winning the National League title. So, go figure. Lynx fans ecstatic, as they should be. They've never won the Gibraltar National League before, and they have won it this year. The board is ecstatic. Um, delighted with the truly momentous occasion. Bernardo, who's sat on the bench all season, is praising me for the win. Valdivia was superb in front of goal. Well done to him. We're going to just hit up this press conference now. Let's go. You've shocked a lot of people by winning the National League with your unfancied Lynx FC team. Was it luck more than anything that won it for you? Look, it wasn't lucky. It was hard work and ability that won this competition. I'm absolutely delighted. It's a wonderful feeling. A lot of hard work has gone into this. No, the top one. I'm absolutely delighted. Just how proud are you to add it? I'm delighted. It's a special day for everyone at the club. Did you ever doubt? I'd be lying if I said I never doubted it. The race was far too close to call. Um, if you're going to compete, yeah, look, I thrive under pressure. This is great. Okay, today's a great moment. Can we build on this? I think this squad is capable of going on and, and becoming a real force. Yep, they had to alter there. Tone Avellano, look, he contributed effectively. We were fine. Valdivia lifted the rest of the team. It was a brilliant performance. We can take the positives from the game. Silverware secured. Yep, look, it's just the start. We're ambitious. We're moving in the right direction. Uh, yep, we play all the way to the end. I can't wait for next season. It is time, I think, to establish ourselves as one of the big boys in the comp. Alright, let's have a look at this. So, Bernardo, sorry mate, disappointing. You gotta do better. Alright, we'll just finish off these last couple of games here uh, in the season. Because there are still a few more games to be played. We won't worry about arranging a club friendly. Uh, St. Joseph's and Mons Calpe will play 6-1 Mons Calpe. They have really stepped it up here in their fight for a place in the Europa League next season. Um, and well, Champions League football for Lynx FC next season. Lincoln Red Imps going to get a comfortable win there against Boca Juniors. They'll go to second. College Europa in third. But the most important position of all is Lynx FC Champions 2019-2020. Homegrown players, we are getting some more guys homegrown. $422,000 for achieving first place. That is everything we need. Beautiful way to finish the season. Fans player of the season, Valdivia, 76%. Cannot argue with that. Jaden Parody deserved second place. Goal of the season was this one against Glasses United. So early first half of the season. Ah, the set piece. Look at the curve on that. Beautiful goal there from Valdivia. Um, Isaac Binet, signing of the season, coming in on the left wing. Young player of the season, Valdivia. 22 goals, 7.61 average rating. Parity had 12 assists coming in there late on, which is great. Valdivia, five player of the match awards. Fantastic season review. A dream season, really. We won the National League, lost the Rock Cup in the semi-final. 
3-0 win over St. Joseph's was the match of the season. 1-0 loss to College Europa, the moment to forget. In the end, didn't hurt us. Average attendance of over 1,000. Squad dynamics update, Brad Power, team leader, for sure. For sure, we're picking up some influential players there as well. All right, so the club or the board has really stepped up our vision now. So... Next season and the years ahead, the competition objectives are only provisional for now and will be finalised in the coming months. So they want us to work within the wage budget, which we're trying to do, reach the first qualifying round of the Champions League. We'll see how we go with that one. Hopefully we get there straight away and finish in the top half of the National League. They also want us to sign players under the age of 23, which I can do, play defensively solid football and play counter-attacking football. So I can start to take on that sort of counter-attacking approach within the wing formation uh, that I've got set up. I think we're just... And, and nothing really here is getting too exciting at the moment. So we'll accept that vision. Season injury report. Nothing too much. Dylan Hernandez is probably the only one really in the, in the main team that causes too many issues. Rosquina had six injuries, but they're all pretty short. So we're fine. Uh, we've got to have our end of season meeting before we go. Um, you have all done brilliantly to win the title. We're not going to we're not going to do that again. But I think we can qualify for the Europa League next season. So you need to come back with the same level of ambition. Wow, unrealistic. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we better look for the top half finish then. Um, no worries, squad. And they still feel kind of happy with me about that. All right. Well, they've all gone on holidays. It is the end of our season. Um, we're going to have to do some contract negotiations. We're going to have to um, work on a few things. There's the results of some of the other big leagues around the country, or around the country, around the continent, uh, if you're interested in those at all or following along with those. Um, Valdivia sets a new team record. Parity sets a new team record. Valdivia, another record. Banda, 10 clean sheets, new record. We're setting records everywhere. Um, and yeah, we don't actually have anything in the schedule for next season as yet. So we will uh, wait and see. But we will definitely be coming back for the Champions League at the start of next season. So... That is where we're going to be picking up the next episode, start of Season 2, with the links. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will speak to you soon.